Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Dash and today I'm going to talk to you about the three most common period problems a lot of women face today. Now the three most common ones are firstly, irregular periods, secondly when it's really heavy and what we call menorrhagia and thirdly when it's super painful and you need some help. So let's start off with irregular periods. Now, we consider irregular periods when your periods come every one to three months or even every six months and you find that you can never anticipate when your next period is coming. There are many different causes to irregular periods and I'm going to go through a few of them for you. So the causes of irregular periods are excessive weight loss or gain, such as due to eating disorders or illnesses, increased exercise, emotional stress, travel, medicines such as birth control methods which can cause lighter or less frequent or even more frequent periods, hormonal problems such as polycystic ovarian syndrome, Asherman syndrome which is due to patients who've had an evacuation before, and breastfeeding. So what do we do as gynecologists when you come in for irregular periods? First of all, we do a thorough examination and find out if you have any abnormal cysts or ovarian issues such as uh, polyps in the uterus and by doing so we do an ultrasound and find out. A transvaginal ultrasound is the best way to assess for uterine um, polyps and fibroids as well as ovarian cysts as well. Thereafter, a lot of patients will undergo a hormonal imbalance test. This is a hormone test that's usually done during your period as well as on the 21st day of your period as well. Correlating all these results will let us know whether you are going through any sort of hormonal imbalance in your body. Finally, what we do is we will suggest a treatment based on all the assessments that we've done so far. A lot of times, just simple lifestyle modifications or weight gain management would be sufficient for a lot of patients. Sometimes, hormonal intervention may be necessary. In these cases, Contraception pills may be very advisable for such patients to help you to regulate your periods. The average amount of period blood loss is usually about 30 to 40 mils for the entire cycle. However, sometimes some women can lose up to 60 to 100 mils per cycle and find that they are unable to bear with it. This can affect them in their lifestyle, can affect them at work or even at school. When you find that you're changing your tampon or your pad every hour, you find lots of blood clots in your pads, you find that you're finding it very difficult to cope with it, you may need to see your gynecologist for an assessment. There are many causes of heavy menstrual periods and the doctor will go through them one by one for you. So here are the main causes of heavy periods. The causes of super heavy periods would be like hormonal imbalance, which is usually due to dysfunction of the ovaries, uterine fibroids, Fibroids are usually just benign tumours of the uterus that appear during your childbearing years. Things like polyps which can grow inside your uterus. Intrauterine device, these are devices that are inserted into the woman's uterus for contraceptive purposes. Pregnancy complications, cancer, inherited blood disorders and thyroid disorders. Your gynaecologist will basically let you go through some blood tests to find out if you have any of these conditions or an ultrasound if necessary. So what does your gynaecologist do when you have heavy periods? Very importantly, again, we have to do an ultrasound to find out if you have any huge fibroids or polyps inside your uterus. Now, what's interesting is that sometimes when you have uterine polyps in your uterus, it's difficult to see it on the ultrasound. During this case, you may be offered what is known as an endometrial pipel or an, um, a DNC. An endometrial pipel is something that looks similar to this device over here. It's basically something that we insert into the uterus and we use it to scrape the uterus to find out if there's any polyps inside. We send it off for histology to confirm that. If we are unable to find out if you have any polyps, we may have to undergo a DNC for you under anesthesia. A DNC is a very simple procedure. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes and you get to go home the same day. It entails a doctor inserting a scope into your uterus, having a good look around. We take some pictures. Thereafter, we put a little scraper in and we scrape off whatever we can find in the womb lining. This same thing is sent off for histology to confirm if there's anything else that we need to manage. Most patients after a DNC may actually feel better. Some may feel that the menorrhagia has not gone away, after which we may have to insert what is known as a Mirena IUD. Now this is a Mirena IUD. 
It's actually an insert that's only inserted this way and it contains a hormone progesterone which is released daily for up to five years and helps to reduce the periods in a lot of patients. Almost a third of patients stop having their periods entirely during the duration of insertion of the myelina and the other one third to two thirds actually have irregular but very scanty menses and hence it's much more bearable than when it was very heavy. Okay, and now we're gonna talk finally about painful periods. This is very common in the very young age group as well as the over, eight, over 40 age group as well. Now, when you have your periods, your uterus is trying to expel all the period blood out. And when it does, it contracts and can cause a lot of pain in a lot of women. When you find that it affects your daily living, it affects you at school, and lots of painkillers like Panadol it does not work, you may want to have a check with your gynecologist to find out if there are other causes of painful periods in you. So these are the causes of painful periods. One of the causes of painful periods is endometriosis. This is where cells that are normally lying the womb start to grow in other places as well, such as in the fallopian tubes and the ovaries. These cells can cause intense pain and when they shed during the period. Another one is adenomyosis. This is quite interesting, where the womb lining actually grows into the muscle of the womb and thickens it. And it's still alive tissue, so during menses, it too sheds, and this can cause severe, crampy, painful periods in patients. Fibroids is something that's well known and can also cause heavy periods. And as mentioned before, these are tumors that can grow in the womb into the cavity, making the womb lining surface larger and causing you to have much more heavier and painful periods as well. If you've had infections of the pelvis before, you may be predisposed to pelvic inflammatory disease. This is where your pelvic organs become infected with bacteria, causing them to become severely inflamed all the time and causing much more painful periods. Some patients may also experience irregular discharges, which may be foul smelling as well. For this, antibiotics may be required. So what does the gynecologist do when you come in with severely painful periods? Again, our favorite ultrasound. We have to look for ovarian cysts. Some patients may have endometriotic cysts, which may need surgery and we look for evidence of adenomyosis. As I mentioned before, adenomyosis basically causes your uterine wall to thicken quite excessively because the muscles are full of womb lining tissue and these bleed and cause painful menses. Unfortunately, of course, for adenomyosis, the only treatment besides pain relief would be a hysterectomy and it's not required in young women. The other one that we need to do for pain relief would be basically to look for pain relief options for you. Sometimes simple Panadol may not be effective, so we do try medications such as NSAID, which are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as Ponstin and even Voltaren for some patients as well. If that's not working, the gynecologist may recommend you to try the oral contraceptive pill if you're less than 40 years old, not smoking and of low risk. The oral contraceptive pill does this by basically regulating your periods and after three months of usage, a lot of patients come back saying that they are feeling fine and they want to continue for many months to years to come. As long as you're seeing your gynecologist every year, it should be safe. However, once you reach the age of 40, the gynecologist may recommend you to change to something else safer without estrogen in it. Again, like I mentioned before, the Myrena IUD is useful for painful menses as well. The Myrena IUD basically reduces the amount of blood flow in your periods and after about 30% of patients, it actually stops your periods as well. By stopping the amount of menstrual flow, it actually reduces the amount of painful periods that you have and a lot of women above the age of 40 find that the Myrena works for reducing the pain relief as well. And finally, of course, if you have suspected endometriosis, the possibility of surgery will be explored. An exploratory laparoscopy, which is where we put a small tube through your umbilical area and have a look at your tubes and see whether that may need adhesiolysis, which is to relieve all the areas that are adherent and causing you to have pain, or some other different types of surgery may be necessary for you. So there you have it, the three main causes of period issues that you would like to see a gynecologist for. For irregular periods, for heavy periods, and super painful periods. There are lots of options available for you and it doesn't always have to be severe surgery all the time. We've got lots of medications and lots of therapeutic devices which can be done in a clinic setting without having to see any other surgeons as well. So we hope you enjoyed this talk. 
and let us know if we can help you in any way. Thank you.